the pizza oven needs somewhere to sit outside so i'm going to build a uh, l bench style sort of thing bought some hardwood for it yesterday actually from a fencing supplies shop so it's kind of pretty rustic looking but so there's my timber there's the uni and i want to build some sort of l shaped uh, bench for it there not exactly 100 percent sure how i'm going to go about it how i'm going to deal with the slight fall there but we'll figure it out get it together it's going to be more than good enough for what i need it's going to be pretty chunky looking these are 100 by 100 um, hardwood posts and then we have 100 by 50 uh, rails i did want it to sort of you know match with that rustic uh dog area that i did earlier but uh yeah i mean i will show the progress on the channel we're going to build that bench with the ryobi 18 volt um, power tool range for a couple of reasons i haven't tried any of the ryobi 18 volt power tools i am a diyer so i guess i'm the target market for them i'm interested to see how they go like this is a 699 dollars eight piece kit which is seems like decent value and ryobi are always happy to have their stuff on the channel so we have this eight piece kit uh also do have the framing nailer and the finishing nailer and the sliding compound saw, which is the one I'm super excited about because I've had a corded one for ages. Very handy to use it, but I hate cords. Anyway, let's see what we get in the eight piece Ryobi 18 volt kit. I mean, the box is a bit of a giveaway, it kind of tells you, but hey, we're gonna unbox it. Looks like a big uh, cooler bag, two big cooler bags. Packed nice and neatly. Let's start with this one. Oh, it's just a baby. So the first thing we have is a 150 mil circular saw with a cardboard blade. Now you know we're gonna have to try that cardboard blade. Safety first though. That actually cuts. Or oh, burns. <laughs> yeah, that actually took a little bit out of there. <laughs> Surely it comes with a blade. Surely. All right, we will come back to that. Hopefully there is a blade here. Next, I feel like I feel like Mary Poppins here. Next, we have the drill driver. Random piece of timber. Better watch the table. Oops. Can confirm it's functional. Okay, next up we have my personal favorite, the impact driver. I remember when I got my first impact driver and I was like, where has this thing been all my life? They're just so satisfying to use. Functional. Now next we have a tool that I've never owned one of before. I've, I've kind of wanted to get one, but just never got around to it, which is the multi-tool. I don't even know how this goes on. Looks like it just slots on. Looks like it comes with a little uh, sanding pad and some different sanding, different grit sandpaper. Not 100% sure how this attaches on it looks. You just put that in the hedge. Do we have to hold something? Is there a lock? No lock? What am I doing wrong? There we go. Seems locked on there. In you go. Functionality test. Little dial on the front there for the speed. Let's go full noise. Yeah. Functional. There's enough tools in this kit to do a lot of stuff. I've done stuff with a lot less, let me tell you. More sanding. A little palm sander, what do they call it? Palm sander. Sandpaper pads, multiple grit. Now this is another tool that I've never owned. Functional test. Oh wow, that sounds, that sounds ballsy. Functional. And that's the contents of the first Esky cooler. On to the next one, and we have our blower. I think this just slips on there. Is that the only hose it's got? What way does it have it facing up? Is it like the elephant's trunk where it's got to be up? Otherwise it's good, bad luck.
Three speed. This thing's gonna be used to get my fires going. I've really made a mess in here. Functional. What we got here? Uh, I don't know what you call it, I guess. Is it a guide bar for your circular saw? Reciprocating saw blade. I guess we have like a timber or pruning one and a metal one. Oh, here it is. Our reciprocating saw. What is going on here? Maximum cutting capacity wood. 180 mil. See how easy this is to get in and out. And what is it, a little clip there? Pull it up. Oops. Pull it right up, put it in. I think we're ready to go. Okay, yes, that's working. We'll get a test out when we're building the bench. Functional. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and finally, eight. This is an eight piece kit. Man, it looks really long. I don't know, maybe it's just me. 115 mil, I think I have some grinding discs. Of course we have to test it. Ah! Maybe we get our beautiful bag out of the way so we don't cut that. Functional. So not only does $699 get you all of those tools, it also gets you cardboard. I thought it was only one, but two batteries. One four amp, two four amp out batteries. And a single port charger. I'm not a massive fan of this charger. It is very slow. We'll get the job done. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have the six port charger here on the wall there, but you have something to charge it. Oh, here's our blade. Circular saw blade. Let's get that on, give that a test. Functional. Now, I have no long-term use with these. Obviously, I've just unboxed them. Now, whatever your favorite tool brand is, I don't think you can argue that at $699 for this whole kit with the batteries and charger, for a DIY user, that's pretty attractive, especially when you're talking about a four-year tool warranty or even six years if you register it. The batteries and chargers are a three-year warranty. All right, so that's them done. We'll get going with that project shortly. Uh, I will say they store very simply in these bags and lots of room in them. It's not like you're trying to squeeze everything back in. So that's definitely a positive. Anyway, let me know what you think. Have you got this gear? Do you rate it? Plenty more to come on the channel. Make sure you're following or subscribed.